Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays XCOM Enemy Within. We have a lot of stuff on our docket today, and not pun intended really. Let's scan for activity and see if some of this shit can get done, and then I'll probably go to the gray market and sell some resources, uh, because I want to buy another mech suit for the person that I have just trained here. So let's go to our mech inventory. Um, we need, we have more than enough meld, we just need a little bit more money. Uh, which we can probably get from the gray market. Oh, we actually have 50 credits uh, that we can do without actually incurring any major uh, problems for ourselves. We also have a, a lot of kind of miscellaneous resources we can sell as well. I just want to check on something. Uh, Officer Training School, how much is squad size 2? We need to get a captain first. Oh, captain, my captain, why are you not here yet? Um, we have another satellite uplink coming as well. I'm probably, I've resigned myself to the fact that we're probably going to lose a country here. I will be launching a satellite over Russia because I already have an interceptor in Europe. And then we'll be choosing either China or Japan. Um, so hopefully we'll get a mission to lower the panic in one of these. Otherwise we'll probably lose the other one. But that's not the end of the world to, to lose one country from the XCOM project. Hell, you can lose three or four and still be fine. Um, hopefully it doesn't come to that though. But for now. Okay, so we're going to build upgrade mech. Can we just... Oh, we, we can't upgrade until we get some more research for... This, that's fine. So we'll build a new mech. Uh, we'll give this one the, uh, the punch arm. Confirm. Uh, and we will equip our soldier with this as well. So, good news. We probably won't get that second mech in service until the, uh, the second squad size upgrade, but that's fine. How's our research doing right now? Six days until beam rep weapons are ready. And then we're going to go on a spending spree because we really want to get these beam weapons up as soon as possible. Okay, so the uplink is available. Um, a lot of stuff is coming to fruition all at once here. We can launch a satellite. Because we do have one available, and I'm going to launch this one over Russia, because we can cover it immediately. And that will give us an extra plus $150 per month. That's pretty good. And uh, this will give us an extra three scientists per month as well. Or an extra one scientist per month as well, which is nice from a research standpoint. Okay, so we do have another satellite under construction. It'll be done in six days. Uh, laboratory will be done in two days. And Roll Fizzle Beef is back uh, in action. Now we've, we've cleared out a lot of the stuff on our to-do list here, which is good. Uh, four days till beam weapons, five days till the satellite. I imagine we'll have a mission in the meantime. We have a medium class UFO over Germany. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll scramble our interceptor here. I'm a little bit wary about our chances to shoot this down. We are reaching the point where probably the alien technology is going to be a little bit better, uh, than what I'm offering. But we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll hover over the abort button just in case things get rough here. This is probably going to take three or four missiles to take down. There's one. Oh, don't miss. Oh, God. Okay, we're... You missed with like every shot, you scum lord. We gotta go. All right. We nearly died. Um, we don't. We have six days until another interceptor, until our interceptor is repaired. That sucks. Uh, so that's probably gonna cause panic to go uh, higher over Germany. That's that's really shitty, actually. Oh no, we actually have a terror mission. So uh, I'll let this play because this is a pretty important uh, dialogue. Looks like they've changed their tactics. But why? Why do this? It's a message to the entire world that nothing can stop them. Alright, so uh, this is probably where we'll be introduced to Chrysalis then, which is uh, something that scares the shit out of me. But it's in Japan, so what's good about this is that we will actually have the possibility to lower panic in Japan a little bit and then launch a satellite over China. Bob's your uncle, everyone's still in the XCOM project. We actually do have a squatty... Wait a minute, what is, what is wrong with this? Why do we have a rookie? Is everybody else still getting healed? Oh, Android Cactus is still wounded. Um... Okay, but we, we could take that rookie out and put in uh, our sergeant instead. Uh, so we will have two mechs available on this one. Which is actually maybe a good thing, because maybe these guys are immune to the uh, 
the chrysalid, uh, like, zombie-making thing. But anyway, abilities. What do we want here? Well, I guess collateral damage is what we want here. Uh, and we should customize our mech. So, Camille Wooters no longer. You will be a robot lady. It's a standard Belgian name. Or is this German? That's uh, embarrassing that I can't tell those flags apart. But anyway, um, let's go with... Uh, the armors don't change too much, depending on which ones you choose here. Uh, we want this mech to stand out on the battlefield, so why don't we go with these Iron Man colors? That is bitchin'. Okay. We got a pretty good squad here. We got a support with three medkits. Sergeant Law is a, uh, a sniper who should probably have a scope, in all honesty. Um, I just want to check something here. Can I build, uh, arc throwers? <sighs> is the alien containment facility done? It was done, right? Build facilities. Um... Alien containment. It's done. Okay. So I should probably build an arc thrower. Maybe we'll save it for the next mission. Like, the terror mission is usually difficult enough in its own right. So, yes, we'll send a Sky Ranger. Uh, everyone's good to go. We got some med kits. I think it's okay to have a second grenade instead. Sure. Let's get this done. So, thank God uh, we actually have some decent troops for this mission. Imagine if I had not restarted uh, and was like, this was all rookies. That would be a real problem for me. Instead, I have two pretty heavily armored uh, mechs. That's good news. Uh, I also have a decent sniper and a, a good support. And a, a good heavy as well with two rockets. So I don't want to lose anybody. Uh, I also don't want to fall asleep because I'll miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. Seriously, though, Chrysalid's no fucking joke. Uh, we're also going to try to save as many civilians as possible. But uh, our number one priority for sure is going to be uh, killing the, the Chrysalis and uh, staying alive. Chrysalids, Chrysalises, I don't know. So... He just told me my number one priority is to protect those civilians. Between you and me, don't tell Control. He's full of shit, though. My number one priority is uh, killing aliens and keeping myself alive. So, we got Deep Teal over here. He's got a sweet little jaunty run to him. Uh, who else do we have here? This is Big, Mc Big Large McHuge. I don't know why I keep getting his name wrong. It's just, like, slightly different from what I named him in the last playthrough, I think. And we get Lady over here. Lady! Okay, we're going to put everybody in our Overwatch... Here, and there is no meld to be concerned about. So this is a very good opportunity to just take my sweet ass time. What is going on with that blue circle beneath us? Is that supposed to be a puddle? I'm a little concerned. So you can see in the top right there is a counter of how many civilians there are, how many civilians have been killed, and how many civilians we have saved. All of those currently reading a, a big fat zero. I do see a civilian over here. It would be nice if she would run towards us. That would make my life a lot easier, but... Um, can't always get what you want, I suppose. Setting up a nice little firing line here. Uh, and again, we'll move our mechs out here. If I was one of the humans, I'd be pretty pissed off that, um, you know, the, the mechs are the guys bringing up the rear. And the, the soft, fleshy humans are the ones that are at the forefront. But uh, I'm not, so that's fine. Uh, everyone goes into Overwatch yet again. And we will uh, approach this civilian and hope that things work out. Now, we've really got to be careful here. I'm saying this as much for myself as for you guys. I need to make sure that I don't stand next to vehicles that are about to explode. That's a problem uh, that I've previously run into. So why don't we move Florence Nightingale up here. That will be one civilian saved. Uh, and we actually did not aggro any aliens. I won't put her on Overwatch just yet. Send up uh, Jude Law here. And we'll very slowly make our way. If we kill all of the aliens, then we save all of the civilians. Or as many civilians that are alive at, this, at the point at which we have killed all the aliens, if that makes sense. There's another civilian up here. I hope these civilians are a little bit less picky and don't get so uppity when a, a big robot man or woman approaches them. Uh, unlike that other guy in that escort mission that refused to acknowledge that I existed just because I was in a sweet-ass robot suit. That sounds like a personal problem if you ask me, but... Um, at some point, I'm assuming we will discover some aliens. It shouldn't just be chrysalis. We will probably encounter some, um, you know, sectoids, thin men, floaters, and, and seekers as well. Seekers being the, uh, the jellyfish. So let's, let's just walk over to this civilian. Do they... Okay, they, they have uh, acknowledged my robotic presence. That's, that's nice of them. Uh, still don't see any aliens, which is okay by me, because chrysalis are the scariest things in the world. Um, I mean, they're not the scariest things in the game, but they're up there. It's, it's, the reason they're scary is because they, like, pervert the... The purity of your XCOM squad, you know? Like, previously, this was a man. He had hopes and dreams, and then you just stab him in the chest with your long pincer, and all of a sudden, uh, now he's an alien hell-bent on destroying us. Uh, which sucks, but anyway. 
We'll just keep this going. So we've got another civilian we could save up here. Pretty soon civilians will start dying. Civilians are kind of like a, a proto-meld, if you will. They, they add a little bit of a time constraint to the game, but um, yeah, there goes one. Uh, they had a little bit of a time constraint to the game, but, you know, it's pretty unlikely that we'd be able to get there in time to save all of them anyway, so... I tend not to sweat losing civilians that much, which probably makes me a terrible, uh, person. And a terrible commander, but anyway. There is a third civilian saved. And I see another one over here. Again, if they could just run towards me, that'd be nice. But I understand that in panic situations, you don't necessarily act rationally. Um... I wonder if the amount of panic reduced in uh, the country that we're in, which is Japan in this case, is directly tied to the number of civilians that we save. If so, that would be interesting. So, we have one more person to move, but we'll throw everybody in Overwatch anyway, because that's what we're going to do. Uh, and Iron Man slash Lady will come over here, and everybody's in Overwatch again. I want some aliens to appear so that I can see them. Okay, there we go. We've got two Chrysalis. Now, it's nice that we have a, a turn here. Uh, so we can get some shots in on them before they actually have the opportunity to close in on us. Chrysalis have like a huge uh, movement window as well, so you've got to take them out from afar, but they can close in on your position really easily. That Take all that time just to make one of like the most wild shots I've ever seen in my entire life. Come on, the mechs have to have a shot here, right? Uh, that civilian's not looking so hot. Oh, here we go, Sergeant... F oh, that car! That car is not in a good place. Both of those missed? Alright, well, fuck me, I guess. Hmm, is that civilian dead? No, those civilians are dead though. Okay, that cab did not explode, much to my surprise. What is up with this lady? She's got like a freaking cybernetic thing appearing out of her skull. 66% chance to hit, 66% chance to hit. Okay, let's start with um, Fizzle Beef. What do you got here? 66% chance to hit, 66% chance to hit. Let's go for the alien that's already been hurt a little bit. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Okay, so you have been, one crystal is dead. That's nice. Uh, we have Jude Law as well. What are your... Oh, whoops. What are your odds on this one, Jude Law? A headshot, 71% chance to hit. Don't miss. Don't miss. Pretty nice. So now if we land one more hit, we should be able to kill the Chrysalis. Uh, Iron Lady, 60% chance to hit. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll take our other shots first, just so I know. Is there any way I could land, like, a Shredder rocket up there? No, it's too far away. Um, roll Fizzle Beef, or sorry, Big McLarge Huge does not have a shot here, but I'll move him into this position. Now he does, and he's got a 59% chance to hit, which seems pretty good to me. Ah, he actually got the kill there. Okay, that's very, very good news. So, everybody else, uh, just take a turn. Uh, get yourselves healed up, get your ammo up, uh, and uh, I don't think we need to enter Overwatch necessarily. We didn't miss it all there, which is, is very convenient, to say the least. Uh, and again, uh, do we need, do we have anybody else that needs reloading? We do. So everybody who needs reloading will get the opportunity to do so here. If we lose civilians, we lose civilians. Um, it is more valuable for me to keep civilians, uh, or for me to keep my own troops alive than to worry too much about civilians. I think. And again, if we kill all the aliens, then we, uh, keep those civilians alive anyway. We're probably losing some in the process here. We've, we've only lost three, though. Which might... <laughs> It probably sounds worse uh, outside of my head than it did in my head. Um, I don't understand why she's got this weird little targeting thing on her. Maybe that's uh, like an aim bonus that gets conveyed by some of these like weird effects that I've got going on here. I don't know. Um, why don't we walk... Oh, I shouldn't have put my units into Overwatch. That is an important thing to remember. Sniper Jude Law. We'll put you... I really don't want to have too many units behind the same car. But I will as much as I dislike it. Uh, and we'll put our mech maybe over here. Because if that car explodes, it could take out like half of my squad. But it, it'll take a turn to explode, so that's fine. Uh, everybody, of course, is going to heal up here. Or it's not heal up, Overwatch. So far, so good. Killing two Chrysalis means that there's probably mm, two Chrysalis left. Oh, I don't like the geography of this level right now. How many uh, civilians? Oh, we're going to lose another two on this turn, it looks like. Shit happens. Uh, I like how that's my reactions. It's like, yeah, we lost some more units, but sometimes shit goes down like that. This civilian, he'll be fine. Never fear. Uh, we'll send Jude Law behind this car over here. This cover might not be effective, but at least we were diversifying our bonds just a little bit with respect to where our units are. And we'll send, uh, I mean, I don't even know if this pile of rubble over here can explode. So I think it's, we're probably safer over here. Uh, our support will send over to Mech Town. Alright, we're good to go, and who else? Uh, big McLarge, big huge McLarge, whatever, big McLarge huge. 
Again, we're keeping all of our squad mates like exactly the same here, but now we'll Overwatch. And I apologize if it's boring to watch me just Overwatch over and over, but um, this is the right way to handle this. Stay defensive, you know? Get tactical, break things. We uh, hear some more shit coming from over there, unfortunately. So, oh, there we go. So we got two floaters. This is, uh, on the scale of 1 to 10, 10 being, you know, 50 chrysalids and uh, 1 being a sectoid with a broken leg. This is like a 2.5. Uh, two floaters doesn't really concern me very much at all. Oh, wait, civilian, what are you doing here? Don't be silly. 37% chance. Why am I being flanked right now? That's what concerns me. 39% chance to hit. Um... Well, you know what? Let's double up on this 13... Oh, wait. 47% chance to hit. Sure, let's take a shot at this one. 47 is pretty good in my book. Okay. Ammo on reserves. You took one shot. Just relax. 39%. Okay, we should have a second chance at this 39%er. Uh, which is fine by me. Alright, now we're getting a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> Florence Nightingale, what are, your, what are your odds? 37 and our sniper does not have a shot, but if I move her over here, she will. Not a flanking shot, sadly, but still. Oh, 25? Well, you know what? With the pistol, she can actually do four damage now. Um, so let's take the 50% chance with the pistol. Oh, you've got to be kidding me at this point. This is just absurd. Um, all right, so we'll move our uh, robot lady over here. She has a... Mechanized punch, which is not going to work, but a hundred percent chance to kill this thing this time. So I probably should have started with that in hindsight, um, and we'll just put uh, our last person into Overwatch here. I'm not really in cover right now, which is scary, but we we've killed uh, another wave of aliens, which is good. Let's have everybody who ooh I should have uh, given her more ammo there. Um, I'm just giving everybody else a chance to uh, kind of ammo up here. There's still ten civilians remaining. I understand there's civilians in this area, but I'm not rescuing them because I think if I just kill the aliens, I'll rescue them anyway. So there's no point in wasting a turn kind of walking over to them. We lost another civilian there. We can still be above 50%, which is pretty okay in my book. And let's move uh, Robot Lady over here. You got Iron Man and Robot Lady. It just makes sense, right? You should really name some of these guys like War Machine, but I don't want Marvel to issue like a DMCA notice on this video. Um, put you okay. over here and... I'm guessing that we probably have uh, a couple of chrysalis, chrysalidses once we get over this ridge here. Uh, which is not so bad. There's a little cover here, that's fine. Um, yeah, it really isn't so bad. We could be fine. Let's take out our sniper rifle and we'll reload this quickly. And everybody else will just go into Overwatch on this turn. We're facing kind of like the wrong way, but if any like chrysalis comes over the ridge here, we should be able to take them out quite easily. And I imagine the next turn is the uh, the turn where it, it all matters here, because if I discover... Let's take Robot Lady uh, up a little bit here. If I discover these chrysalids, we're going to want to kill them on this turn. Well, we see way more civilians, um, but sadly no, uh, no aliens yet. Or sadly? Maybe not sadly. All right, so these guys have set up a nice little position, and we'll uh, get Jude Law over here. Oh, we may actually find an alien now. Oh, thank God. It's actually a very good thing that we did in there, because I would have been a little bit out of position. Uh, we've got, like, a busted-up train fuselage here. Maybe it's, like, a tanker or something. I'm not sure. Get Big McLarge huge over here. The good news is we have not used... Well, first off, there's a lot of good news to talk about. Nobody's been hit so far, which is very important, beyond the fact that nobody's been killed. Uh, we all have full ammo, and Big McLarge Huge has uh, both rockets remaining, which are actually pretty important assets if we ever come across these aliens, because the Shredder rocket can really be a nice kind of like opening move for us to do here. So let's send uh, Deep Teal out here just a little bit more. Still don't see anybody. How about uh, Robot Lady? Send Robot Lady a couple steps forward beyond that. And yes, there are civilians, but um, they'll be safe once we finish the mission anyway. Okay, so what, what is concerning here is that there's not really any cover at all. Moving. So I'm very concerned about just moving forward here. But I also, you know, moving. there's no aliens. So the fact that we haven't discovered any of them is, is absolutely acceptable. So we'll put our people in a situation where they can get to cover on the next turn. Is the way I'm considering it right now. So everybody's just kind of holding a line here. If uh, some aliens show up, it could be pretty dangerous because nobody's behind cover at all. 
but uh, hopefully our mechs would uh, absorb most of the damage and we'd be okay. Could be wrong, though. So again, we will hear some uh, noises coming from up here. Really nice to get some, like, air surveillance or something so we can know what's happening here. Never fear, we lose another civilian, but we can still get over 50% for sure. Uh, there we go. We've got two more floaters, which strikes me as probably, like, the appetizer for what is eventually going to be a couple more chrysalids showing up. So, um, let's start with a headshot on this floater. Don't miss. Don't miss. That is a, a big miss, unfortunately. The floaters are not a concern unless I am not able to kill them on this turn. If I'm able to kill them, it's not a concern at all. You're, you're kidding me, right? Like, I don't have a shot here. Um, so we'll probably end up using a smoke grenade with, uh, with our support there. And we should be able to put our mech in a shootable position. Apparently not. Are you serious? Like, I, why can I not shoot this thing? Um, well, I can't get behind cover anyway, so we'll just rely on the smoke grenade. There's no, there's no doubt that I will be using the smoke grenade here, so we might as well just toss this out straight away. Kind of want to just blow up this car, and if the civilian dies, they die, but that's probably not the way that, uh, you know, Control would want me to do this mission. I'm just realizing now, as I, as I run my soldier over here, that it's probably best for me to put them elsewhere, uh, because if the floater throws a grenade, which is absolutely uh, possible, this is not going to work out very well for me. So where's the cover here? There is cover here, but I don't really want to be there. I'm actually just going to put myself... Right there, and I'm very lucky that I did not uh, spot anything. Now, those floaters, they, they're putting out more of a fight than I would have expected. That one is using his dash ability, so he won't be able to attack on this turn. We should be able to get an easy kill here. Unless he, well, he might murder that civilian, which sucks. But what about the other one? What's he going to do? Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Oh, no. Well, the civilian died. That at least makes it a little easier for me in the future um, to kill this thing. So... Uh, let's start with this one behind us. 58% chance to hit times two seems pretty good to me. Excellent. Uh, can I just reload? With, yeah, I can reload with my next. Awesome. Now, this other one. 61% chance to hit. What about uh, Deep Teal? How's Deep Teal doing here? Nothing? Okay. Well, we'll, we'll take our 61% chance to hit to start with, and that looks like a kill cam to me. That could be the end of this mission. I doubt it, though. I, I would assume that there would be more chrysalis. There weren't, actually. We saved more than 50% of the civilians, which is pretty okay. And nobody died. Nobody even got hit. That was actually a much easier terror mission than I expected. Which is good news. And as we were in the air, Android Cactus has returned to active duty. So, let's see here. Um, we have a sar we have a lieutenant now. We can get Disabling Shot or Battle Scanner. I think Battle Scanner is way more effective as a sniper. It's like a remote-controlled uh, scanner that lets us do recon, basically. Uh, rapid Reaction confers a second reaction shot if on Overwatch and the first reaction shot is a hit. Or confers plus 50% damage against robotic enemies. Both of these are pretty useful. Um, you know, robotic enemies are some of the more dangerous enemies as you get later in the game. But Rapid Reaction seems pretty good. But you have to hit on the first shot. Let's take Heat Ammo. Um, I think the, the cyber discs and, and mutoids or mutinoids are going to be some of the more difficult en enemies we come across. Now, another mech trooper ability. Uh, start with Jet Boot Module. When activated, confers the ability to jump to normally inaccessible heights for the rest of the turn. Could be useful. Or, one for all. When activated, this mech becomes a high cover element. Moving or using an arm-based weapon will return the mech to standard posture. So if I use this, he will actually become full cover that enemy that uh, my troops can hide behind that seems fucking awesome we'll go with that do we have any other promotions no but uh we did get the council's medal of honor and another international service cross that's weird panic in japan has decreased by three and panic has decreased across asia so everything's gonna be fine that is awesome okay so uh wait what was i gonna look into here oh the barracks because we got some uh, extra medals there so um, why do I have an international service cross? How have I not renamed this yet? Have I given... Oh, we have, I've given it a power. I didn't rename it, though? Oh, this will be the um, United Nations Unity Award. Because this is all about, um, again, working together as countries. Uh, and why don't we give this to... Uh, well, we might as well just keep stacking them up on uh, our existing troops to create the ultimate super soldiers. And we have another new medal, right? Council Medal of Honor. We're going to call this one uh, Kermit the Frog Crest. Because this medal kind of looks like a frog to me if I go backwards. It doesn't that look like a, it looks like a Kermit the Frog, if you ask me. Uh, and we'll assign a power. Hmm. Plus one aim and will for each mission completed with no soldier deaths. That's the one that I like on this one. So we'll award this, of course, 
to roll fizzle beef, aka deep teal. Sacrificing an awful lot for his country. Alright, so we're probably not going to do another mission over the course of this video, but we will at least uh, see if any research gets complete. Give three arc throwers to China, they'll give us four scientists. Not now. A little busy. Beam weapons are going to complete, so we'll assign new research. Uh, sure, yes, we can build laser rifles now, which is very important. I think we should build carapace armor uh, next, honestly. Precision lasers and heavy lasers are probably after that, but... Um, we should probably do some autopsies as well. But anyway, we'll start with carapace armor, which will make our team way more survivable. And, um... We're waiting for another satellite to be open here. And then after that, it'll be the council report, which will be the most exciting thing. Oh, we have a, uh, a council report. Friends in low places. Oh, so this is our, uh, slingshot DLC pack, which actually comes with Enemy Within, uh, that we'll be doing here. So we'll, we'll launch the mission, because we get a... a cool dude here and it also gives us 200 credits which are extremely important but that's going to end it for this episode as always thanks for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed the episode and of course if you did make sure to show your support by clicking the like button as always thanks for watching make sure to subscribe if you want to see more daily xcom enemy within and of course i'll see you next time